March 29, 2019 was supposed to be a giant leap for womankind, the first all-female spacewalk, but the plans were scrapped when there weren't enough medium-sized spacesuits for both women. The milestone will happen someday, but until then, the cancellation is another entry on the timeline of challenges women at NASA have had to overcome. A timeline that goes all the way back to NASA's beginnings. The first seven classes of astronauts, the first two decades of the agency's life, included zero women. And during that time, it seemed unlikely it would ever happen. Conventional wisdom, and even so-called science, said that women couldn't do it. For example, authors of a 1964 study worried that PMS and hormonal changes would hinder women from being able to control the spacecraft. It took 14 years for that stance to be corrected, and six women were selected in 1978. But the struggles for female astronauts persisted. Take Sally Ride, who was part of that first co-ed astronaut class. When she was preparing to become the first woman in space in 1983, NASA engineers were unsure about the supplies a woman needs, specifically how many tampons are required for a one-week mission. They asked Ride, is 100 the right number? 100 tampons for a week is not the right number. About a decade after, the seeds were sown for future spacewalk issues. Facing budget cuts in the 90s, NASA had to cut down on its spacesuits. First, they got rid of the extra small size. And not long after, they nixed the small as well. It was a matter of budget, not gender. After all, most astronauts do fit into the medium and large sizes, but they don't work for everyone. And the people less likely to fit into those sizes are women. Today, NASA is still using the spacesuits they designed in the 1970s. No new ones have been made since that initial design. That's long past their estimated 15-year use. Plus, several suits have been lost over the years. And it was ultimately that limited supply that sank the first all-female spacewalk. That was my recommendation. Uh, and actually, so, so Nick and I... Astronaut Anne McLean said the plan changed on her own recommendation when she realized she was more comfortable in a medium suit rather than a large, but only one medium was available. Christina Cook wore that one. Nick Haig swapped into the flight and wore the large suit. Okay, Neil, yeah, we can see you coming down the ladder now. And so the giant leap was delayed. But given the number of women now in the program, the all-female spacewalk seems to be just a matter of time and of size. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.